Mother India! Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we're going to talk about India and Donald Trump. Stick around. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. Yes, that's my terrible uh, Indian accent, which no doubt people will object to. Uh, this is uh, a report from Tiger Mountain all about Donald Trump in India. Yes, he's pulled off an amazing coup here, ladies and gentlemen. He has gone to India and pulled off this amazing kind of like um, trade deal. It's like he's the new Raj. You know what I mean? He's brought back the British Empire. This is like, you know, I mean, people always say, oh, who secretly runs the world? Let's face it, it's us. It's Anglo-Saxons. We haven't, we, we still run things. You know, not like in some secretive back room kind of thing. We run things up front. We, you know, I mean, Boris and Trump and every, all these Anglo-Saxons everywhere. We're running things. We still are. And now we're doing this wonderful deal with China. It's like we're bringing back the, you know, the, the British Empire and, you know, and like the uh, India uh, Tea Company, you know, or the India Trading Company. So this is just fantastic. Um, you know, it's really something, uh, a real coup for Donald Trump, I think. And um, obviously with all the tr strife, the uh, mother and strife, um, trouble and strife, uh, as the saying goes, it's going on at the moment with China uh, and all this virus stuff that's coming out of China. Um, Trump wanted some kind of new economic partner and he's turned to India and obviously um, India has a great kind of nationalist leader at the moment um, who um, you know obviously is connecting with the whole kind of America first thing and India first and Indian nationalism um, obviously a lot of um, readers and watchers here at the uh, report from Tiger Mountain probably don't know much about uh, Indian politics I'm no expert but I do know that he's a kind of right-wing nationalist the current reader and uh, current leader and he is a, a very fascinating fellow so I think his name is Modi so you should look up um, look up uh, books about this fellow and um, you know and also to they're very much anti uh, Islam in India obviously the two countries when the British left the country was divided into Pakistan which was where the Muslims and the Islamics uh, went and obviously uh, India was where the people who were Hindu and various other religions stayed and obviously there's a bit of mix between the two countries because not everybody who was in Pakistan you know was, was Muslim and vice versa so you know there's a kind of interesting kind of ethnic tension going on at the moment between Pakistan and India and Trump has stepped right in the middle of it and he's gone there and you know there are these amazing videos of these uh, huge rallies of Indians and, and Indian people dancing with items but there's a lot of fusion uh, if you if you talk about a broccoli a corn samosa uh, and uh, it was extraordinary and uh, you know it really was like he was the new Raj being welcomed to this new kind of like dawn of like uh, India and kind of Western relations I think this is an amazing coup for Donald Trump and it's an amazing coup for Western civilization and I think Boris Johnson should get in on it and obviously you know obviously England has a great uh, kind of relationship with India and obviously Indians are pretty um, positive apropos the West and they've always been quite friendly and and, you know, as far as immigrants go, they've definitely made the better immigrants. Um, some of the best immigrants are Indians because, I don't know, they just get along with us and they, they love our institutions and they love our culture and they kind of like attempt to copy Western culture and particularly Anglo-Saxon culture. So that's something to be said of them. So I just think this is a really huge win. And, um, you know, I'd just like to say Donald Trump, the new Raj, I salute thee.